Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to report to you the results of a recent randomized phase 2 controlled trial using a new drug for prostate cancer. The drug is currently called OGX011, made by a company called Oncogenics. This drug works by blocking a protein called clusterin, and clusterin helps cells grow better. So by blocking the protein, the idea is that you interfere with cell growth. The study involved 82 men who had advanced hormone refractory prostate cancer, and they were given either conventional chemotherapy using taxotere and prednisone, or the conventional chemotherapy plus the addition of this new drug. And the results have been updated recently at the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting. The results are exciting because it showed a statistically significant reduction in death rates to the tune of improving survival by almost seven months. Now what's interesting about this finding is that currently the only other treatment approved for advanced prostate cancer is taxotere. And the randomized studies using that drug showed an improvement in survival of about 2.1 months. So by adding this additional medication, it seems that there is an opportunity to further improve the results in this group of men with advanced disease. So the results are early but very exciting. Now what's going to happen is the company is going to have to do what's called a phase three randomized trial in which they don't do it quite in the same way. They'll have to use a placebo instead of giving no treatment to the control group. This is critical in order to demonstrate to the FDA that the drug does indeed work and does indeed improve survival. Those studies hopefully will initiate soon, but the company needs to find money to do it. Many patients may say to themselves, well, why can't we just get the drug now? Why do we have to wait and go through this approval process and the study process? And the answer is, it's critical that we do these studies in a way that truly prove that something is working and that we don't mislead ourselves into believing that there's an effect when there really isn't one. So the results are exciting. The side effects were not too terrible, certainly not in this group of men that have advanced disease. And it would appear that doing a phase three trial is going to be worthwhile and hopefully deliver the information that we found or was found in the phase two trial. Thank you.